Yeah, so I'm saying that um, search engine optimization is the process of improving your website so that it ranks highly on the search engine results page for keywords and phrases that are related to your business, right? And what that simply means is so that your website, your business page can appear on the first 10, on the, on the first page of the Google um, or the search engine result page, you know? We have search engines. Google is the most popular one. Well, Google is not the only search engine. Take note, there is Bing. Bing is also a search engine, right? Those are like the two most popular search engines in the world with the most amount of, uh, um, what they call it now? The most amount of users, right? Bing is a search engine. Google is also a search engine. Those are the most popular ones. You can check for the other um, search engines yourself, right? And when they see the website to rank on the first page of, of the search engine results page, here's what we mean. So let me show you. Where did I open? Sorry, not this page. So let's say we want to search for um, something related to a business. We don't know the business name, right? We just want to make a simple Google search to find out about something, right? And of course, most of the information you see is from a website. And then we come and then we say, um, we type what is digital marketing, let's use that. I guess he's having network issues, but he will definitely be back. He will come back to the call. I just guess he's having network issues.
Hello, guys. Sorry, I've been talking. I didn't even know I was mute. Um, can you guys hear me? Okay, thank you, Fitz. Um, the network is really bad on my end. I don't know what's up. I don't know why. Right? But um, let's just make do with what we have at the moment. So I so, got through now. I can it. hear you. You can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay. Can I hear you? Hello guys, can you hear me? The network is, I don't know, I don't know why it's so terrible today. It's, it's tripping off. Who can I hear you now, sir? I can hear you now. All right, thank you. I don't know what's up with the network. Um, <clears throat> so I'm back now again. Sorry, let me just continue talking first. So I was saying that I will just show us what it is. I'm, I'm sure some of us already know. So when you see, um, when you make a simple Google search, right? I can't share my screen now, not the host. When you make a simple Google search and you see those websites appear in order at which they are appearing, they are appearing in the order. Uh, that is what we call search engine optimizations. Those websites that are appearing on the first page on, of Google have been properly optimized to appear on that first page. Right, and that's why you're seeing them on the first page of Google and the search engine. Not just the first page, there are other pages, right? If you scroll past the first page, for every page, every page has just 10 results. So if you scroll past the first page, you can go to the second page and then you see the next 10 results, to the third page, the fourth page, and as, as, as that. But of course, the aim of SEO techniques or the best of the good SEO is to ensure that your website appears or ranks highly on the search engine results page for keywords and phrases, right? That are related to your business. The more keywords that your you you rank for, your website rank for, the higher you rank, and the more people will see your business and become familiar with with the business or with the website and the business. Right. Um. The goal of SEO, of course, is to um direct more traffic 
to a website from members of your target audience, right? These are your consumers, right? People who are actively searching for your product, people who are actively searching for services that your business offers, whether your business or a business that you're working for or handling, right? Now, search engine is important because one, it is good for organic search, um, just like we said. I'm not sharing my screen, no, I'm not sharing my screen. I'm not sharing my screen. It's good for organic search, right? Uh, because um, when we say organic search, it means searching for your business organically, right? It means that, okay, um, you don't, you're not paying money, but people are going to be ah, recording posts. Okay, it's recording. It means that people are going to be seeing your business organically without you having to pay money for them to see it, right? It also helps for credibility and trust. Um, you know that people have a tendency to trust a business that has a website over those that are just doing business on maybe social media or places like that. I'm sure we are aware of this. So it's, it's, it's a general psychology that people tend to trust businesses that, that uses a website that, or that have a website, right? And then if you carry out search engine optimization on your website and optimize it well, uh, your website has a tendency to appear on the first page of Google and it gives it trust, more trust and credibility because people, when they search for um, an information, you, the your website pops up as a website that gives them that kind of valuable information. Sometimes they bookmark it and save it to be able to come back to it whenever they want. Sometimes the website name registers in their head. And sometimes because they want to do a business of that caliber, they might reach out to you as a business. So it is very important. And then number three is that it offers better user experience. User experience in the sense that um, the, the truth is that the search engines are constantly looking for ways to satisfy their users. And that's why they keep on pulling results of necessary keywords or phrases to the users, right? I'm going to explain this as we are going forward. Um, it, it gives you more traffic and increase in engagement. Uh, we've talked about this. Um, uh, it, 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 increase, it helps your buying cycle, right? People who some of them are looking to buy, some of them are looking to make purchases. Right. And then you now have your websites appearing or popping out when they are trying to make a purchasing decision and they search for something, they search for a term, right? Um, right? Let me go back and see if it's going to appear. All right, so let's see something. Okay, so let's look at this now. All right, this is a query that was made. When you type in something into the Google, into a search engine, you are querying the search engine, right? This is a query. What? Okay, let's change what is digital marketing to something else. Um, let's see. You search for, um, let's use something the commercial keyword. Let's say you search for best restaurants in Lagos. Let's see that's what you're searching for, right? Best restaurants in Lagos. You can see what the search engine results page brings for you, right? And this is yes. the first page of Google. And this, what this means is <clears throat> that this website has been properly optimized with this keyword. You can see the keyword. What was the keyword? Best restaurants in Lagos. And then you can see yeah, the 10 best restaurants in Lagos completed January 2024. That's updated. There's a serious role in making this thing rank as the first, number one. 
Number two, you can see 22 nice restaurants and fine dining in Lagos. Now, the key words that it is pulling out are best restaurants in Lagos. Nice restaurants in Lagos. The best restaurants in Lagos, Nigeria. The 10 best restaurants in Lagos states. The 10 best restaurants in Lagos you must visit. You are seeing how the search engine results page, uh, the search engine are pulling out this query this uh, uh, websites for you, right? Because they have been properly optimized, right? Sometimes people who even optimize their website don't even know. But we can see here that it has been optimized for these keywords, and you can see that they are now appearing on the search engine results page as websites that can actually give you answers to this query that has been made. That's one. Uh, I'm sure we understand this now, right? Um, so I say it gives you more traffic and engagement. Imagine this, I've, I've, I, I didn't have any websites in mind when I came here to pop up this question, best or to pop up this best restaurants in Lagos. I didn't have any one in mind. I didn't have anything in mind. But I will, I, I, will, I will end up clicking on this website now. You can see none of them is sponsored. So it means that they are all optimized. They are all, all optimized for search engine. They are all organic. And you see this is the first page and you can see the next page here. Here they see it. You can see now, this is now, before you, you have to click on next, you see next page number. But I think Google has updated their, this, um, their search engine result page in such a way that you, you, you just see the, the, instead of clicking see more, you just see them automatically opening for you. Right, so if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you now know the first ten, right? So that in the first page of Google. Now I'm talking about traffic, right, and engagement. This is a website I don't know them before, but the moment I click on this now, I'll be taken to their website. That's traffic. Tra they have got some traffic on their website, right? Because they were able to optimize their SEO very well. Uh, this traffic is from search engine optimization because they optimized it for these keywords that I put in and it has showed me best restaurants in Lagos and it's now telling me, it's now showing me their, their website with their, of course, this, uh, this thing works mostly for optimizing of content, right? And then you can see now that I can easily click and go to their website, right? Okay, that's, they will now get traffic. Let's leave that. I've talked about the buying cycle. If I want to purchase now, these people probably rank their own, their own restaurants if they have. If they are not a third party website that just does ranking. If it's, a, if it's already a restaurant on their own, they might decide to rank their website, their own restaurant as number one. Right? And I decide that I want to visit the number one. Uh, that is improving my buying cycle. You get. Now, we said you help for the web environment. It is cost effective. SEO is cost effective. You don't have to spend money, right? You don't have to spend money. You, excuse me. You don't spend money or you don't spend much money. Let's see. Now oh, that's it, right? And it's also long term, right? Optimizing your website um, is long term, right? Um, um, you your websites can be available on the search engine result page for a very, very long time, and users can always visit, right? You can, if you keep up updating it, right? You have people who can visit you for a long time, and you can stay on the page. But of course, the uh, Google is always scrolling the web always scrolling the web and once it is scrolling it is looking for valuable information that users will ask for mm -hmm. and it is pushing it down to the first page so you want to ensure that you stay up to date so that you don't fall out of the ranks right um so for instance now if like i said for instance now this is restaurant right let's say you are you are, you are into the food business you are doing restaurant business the websites you keywords you want to optimize your websites for are keywords like 
restaurants, keywords like food, um, keywords like food, keywords like best foods in this, keywords like um best nutritious foods or nutritious, you know. You put them together so that they make sense. You don't just put one word because people don't just come and create for one word, right? And keywords have different intents. There is the transactional, there is informational, and there's commercial, right? Due to the targeting audience, the keywords have different intents. We are coming to that, right? Um, we've talked about the difference between SU and SEM. We know what that is. Now, um, of course, Google search results is divided into two categories, the paid search results and the organic search results. The goal of SEO is to rank your website in the organic search results. So SEO is focused on ranking it organically, meaning without paying money. Why SEM is when you tap into um, both SEO and pay per click in order to get traffic from search engines. Now, here's the difference. Let me show you. Let's look for another keyword that might have an SEM on it. Let's look for our keyword. Let's look for say um let's say um running shoes. This is a short tail keyword, but let me just say running shoes. Let's say for men. Right, let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, sports running shoes for men. Hope you are seeing my screen. So I'm looking for uh, any of these websites that have sponsored. Well, I, I can't see anyone. I'm thinking of what will I will tap now that will have, have sponsored on it. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Fleet management. Let's see. Okay, so we can't see that now, right? Maybe none of them are actually on the first page. But Google, let's keep scrolling down and let's see if we're going to see anyone. So for search engine optimization, your focus is to be on these organic ones, right? Well, anywhere you see sponsored on the top, just know that, that is search engine marketing. And search engine marketing is a combination of both SEO and paper click, right? You are paying for any click that happens that comes to your website when you're using search engine um, techniques or search engine methodologies, which includes the using of keywords where you have to bid for keywords, right? To be able to have your website rank. I can't see anyone that has that now, but let's just keep moving. Now, of course, we said SEA is a practice of continually optimizing your website to rank in the search engines of we just talked about that. Now there are there are there are three main categories of SEO or subcategories. There's the on-page SEO, there's the off-page SEO, and there's the technical SEO, right? Uh, on-page SEO is where you optimize your website around keywords that your target customers search for, right? Um, now on-page is the one that you do on your website. Do you understand? The one that you have keywords around. Um, words that your target audience will use. For instance, you're optimizing your website for um, food. You, have, you sell food. You optimize your website for food. And you have words like um, delicious foods. You have words like um, um, so, so and so kind of meals. You know, you, you have to do your keyword research. It's not something that comes off your head. You have words that have to do with food or have to do with restaurants. Right? Those keywords that you know that um, people who are going to be searching for anything related to your product are going to be looking for. That is on page SEO, right? It can happen both on your, mostly on your blog post, the kind of post you're going to be putting out as your content. And of course, the general content on your page, right? Kind of tag, taglines and meta taglines that you use. 
Then we have off-page SEO. Off-page SEO is now about getting trust and authority signals from other websites or otherwise called using backlinks. Backlink is backlinks is um, getting trust from other websites, high quality backlinks to your website, right? Somebody has a website, let's say for instance now, you're into the tech space and there's tech cabal. Tech cabal is a big website, it's a trusted website because they have a lot of visitors monthly, right? And people go to tech cabal to get for resources and information. And then you now have, a, they now write a content, maybe you guys, they collab, and they put a link in that content that takes them from, that takes users from their own website to your own website. That is off-page SEO, because it is not done on your own page. It is done through a backlink, but it's still coming to your page, right? Now that is that. And then we have the technical SEO. This is where you make sure that Google and other search engines can crawl and index your the pages of your website, right? Technical SEO includes things like making sure that your website can load quickly, right? And that your site architecture is set up correctly. I've mentioned three, on page, off page, and technical. Technical is the one that you ensure that Google can crawl your, your, your website pages and index it. Google wants what we call crawling. When it crawls the page, it indexes the pages. And then after indexing the pages, it gives out results. Right? That's how the search engine works. And that's what technical SEO entails to ensure that you do a website that it is easy for Google to crawl. First, the loading speed. Does the website have to, can the website load fast? Those are the things that will determine how your website is going to pop up. And the site architecture as well. And of course, the keywords, which is still important because Google is searching for those keywords. It does this with the speed of light, right? Very fast. Very, very fast, right? That's the technical part of SEO. Right, so Google does that, right? In such a way that it comes down to your, to your page and figures out if your page is a good match for someone who is actually My loading speed, am I talking fast? I'm as slow as, as, as slow can be. Am I talking fast? Okay, let me slow down. Let me slow down. If I slow down, I might not live here today. Well, let's go. Because you have class work to do. Okay, now I've talked about technical SEO and I'm saying that it is where you carry out technical SEO. Technical SEO is making your website to be easily accessible by Google in such a way that it can crawl, index your website, and then bring it out on the result page, right? Now, what Google does or how Google, all the search engine, not just Google, we have Google and Bing as a search engine. What it does is it crawls the web, right? It indexes what it sees stores it, and then it ranks the pages according to the queries that are coming and according to the information that it gets on the pages, right? Now, see, uh, now crawling, let's go to that. Crawling is when the search, search engine uses programs, right, known as spiders, bots, or crawlers to crawl the web to navigate the internet, to navigate the web, right? And it can do this within a, a, within very few days, right? And it crawls, and then it, it looks for information on different websites. It's crawling and getting information from different websites, right? And it does this in a few days, every few days' time. So it is possible that the information that you have on your website this week or for one month can become obsolete by the time it crawls again because it's now crawling and searching for new information. Then two, it indexes. The indexing is the search engine will try to understand and categorize the content of the web page right, using the keywords that are on the page and how the page is working very well, if the page works very well, following the SEO best practices. 
and then it will understand if the page is good enough and then it indexes it. Indexing is like, like storing that page or storing that website as a website that it sees as relevant, right? So you have to ensure that you help Google to understand your content so that they can rank for the right keywords and for the right search queries. And then the last one is the ranking. So after it grows, it indexes and then it ranks. For the ranking, right, search results are ranked based on a variety of factors, right? And they can include the keyword density, the speed and links on the website, right? And of course, the searching, the goal of search engine is to provide the most relevant information to its users. I am a user, you are a user. The goal of this search engine is if I type what is fleet management, it wants to provide me the most relevant information on fleet management. That is why your content also has to be good on your website because it also takes into consideration it also takes into consideration the amount of time people spend on your website. If the bounce rate on your website is high, when we say bounce rate, it means that people come to your website, they don't even spend up to one minute or at most one minute because they don't see what they want and then they leave your website. Like people do not get past the first page of your website. That is, if it's much, your bounce rate is high. And Google will identify that web or that page as a page that is not relevant for its audience and to take it off the first ranking, to take it off its ranking or to drop the ranking, right? So the aim is to give relevant information to its users. Now, you use keywords. What are keywords? Keywords are these words that are queried in. And they are, um, there are two types of keywords, right? There are the short tail keywords and there are the long tail keywords. Short tail keywords and long tail keywords, right? Um, a keyword consisting of one or two words is a short tail keyword. For instance, fleet management. For instance, weight loss. For instance, body mass. For instance, um, where's been is one word. Um, I'll give you three instances, right? Weight loss is a two is two words. It's a short tail keyword. Fleet management is a short tail keyword. Um, delicious food is a short tail keyword, right? Those are short tail keywords. And then we now have long tail keywords. And long tail keywords are keywords that consist of three to eight or more words, right? Three to eight or more words, right? And they are more effective when it comes to SEO. Short tail keywords are not very effective when it comes to SEO because when people are searching most times, they are searching with long tail keywords and they are searching with questions. So take note, right? So the three to eight to uh, three to eight or more keywords, right, are the long tail keywords. And like I said, they are more effective for SEO. Long tail keywords like weight loss products near me, with the best weight loss products in Nigeria, best restaurants in Nigeria. Now, let's say best. What is the, or what are the best, or what are the most accurate ways to handle this situation, right? Those are long tail keywords. It's a question or is long tail. For instance, what is this? What is fleet management? It's a question. Everything you need to know. That is the title of the blog post. But because I put in fleet management, it has brought that out. What is fleet management? What is fleet management? How it works? Everything you need to know about fleet management. So things like weight loss product near me, weight loss pills that actually work, um, um, best gym or um, five gym requirements or five best requirements to lose weight, or those kind of keywords that consist of three to eight or more keywords. Those are long tail keywords. Do we understand? Am I still fast, Tina? Am I still fast? I'm guessing no. 
So we have um, the long tail keywords, right? There are different types, right? Even uh, the long tail keywords have different types, right? We have the informational, we have the transactional, we have the commercial, right? And for short tail keywords, short tail keywords like this fleet management are mainly navigational. Navigational meaning that you are just trying to find your way. I want to navigate through this platform. You're trying to find your way. So they believe that it is not exact. But Google, Google does not see it as an, they don't really know what you are looking for exactly because it's just too, like for example, what I just put here is fit management, right? They gave me what is fit management, everything you know. What is fit management? Everything you need to know about it. What is the fit manager? What is fit management? What is fit management, right? So it's a short tail keyword. So they believe you are navigating. But for long tail keywords, it's going to be split into informational, transactional, and commercial. Informational, that you are looking for information from the web. You are looking for information, right? What is, which is mostly the most effective because people are mostly coming for information. What is this? What is fake management? Where can I buy? Why should this be? How can I do? You see those questions. They are informational, right? You see the keywords. They are coming with questions, right? So you want to think of possible questions that people will ask. That's that. Those are informational, right? Then we have the um, transactional. Transactional in the sense that um, people are trying to. Uh, um, find out how to transact with that keyword. For example, buy with loss bill, buy with loss machine, right? It's transactional. Then we have commercial. Commercial is um, the one that um, they are saying you are trying to commercialize the keyword. How much does this cost? It's a commercial because it's looking like you want to buy, but you are trying to find out how much, right? How uh, best sale weight loss machine is commercial. Commercial keywords are mostly used, uh, of course, are used by people who are doing uh, businesses. Businesses, of course, whatever you're doing is for business purpose. But that's to commercialize the keyword. Transactional is now when people are trying to actually transact with that keyword. Right. So those are the three for long tail and then navigational for short tail. But navigational can also work for long tail, but it's mostly for short tail keywords, right? Um, is there any question so far? Okay. So that is uh, um, how SEO works, right? And of course, these keywords are, these keywords are not going to be developed on the, on just the surface, right? Or just out of the blue moon. They are being gotten by using what we call keyword, um, uh, keyword research tools. Most of these tools or SEO tools, most of these tools are also used, right, to do competition research, right? You can use these tools to also search for your competitors. You can use them to search for keywords that are best that you can use, right? These are what these tools are, are being used for, right? Um, so we have tools like SEM Rush. We have tools like EREPS. This is let's type SEM Rush. This is SEM Rush. You can see it's already here. It's, for, it's a popular tool. SEM Rush, right? Is a tool that you can use for keyword research, right? It saves you time. You put in the main keyword you want to use. And it's going to generate a list of keywords that are relevant to that search. And you can use those keywords to be able to optimize 
your websites or your pages to rank better. We also have PDFs. PDFs is also another tool that you can use for your keyword research, right? Similar to SEMrush, just slight differences, right? We have, um, let's do for keyword, let's just see keyword research tools on Google and let's see what they are going to provide for us. If they are going to provide us with a list of keyword research tools. Keyword research tools for SEO. Yeah, you can see them. You see SEM rush, you see keywords everywhere. Let's see more. You see Google Keyword Planner, right? So they have Google Keyword Planner. They have SEM Rush. There is, Bitmap, there is most Keyword Explorer. There is uh, that's most yeah. There is Google Trends. Google Trends is to find out what is trending on Google on the web. There is Answer the Public. Answer the Public is to give you questions that people are asking consistently, that people are asking regarding a subject matter that you're trying to rank for or you're trying to write for, right? They have self stats. Question DB, Uber suggests, Uber suggests was one I was trying to, I was trying to think about, right? Uber suggests is there, right? Um, keywords so far also as there see, there are many keyword research tools, right? That you can use to, do keyword research for SEO. Let's let's specify this keyword research tools for SEO. And let's see if it's going to take out some of the results as it's already presented. Yeah, you can see best keyword tools, best tools for keyword research. You see SEM Rush, you see Google Keyword Planner, you see EREF's Keyword Planner, Safe Starts, Keyword Tool.io, Moz Keyword Explorer, Google Trends, Answer the Public. Now keyword research tools, right? And these tools help you to be able to um, do your keyword research, right? And these tools are there to facilitate the work for you. So you don't have to spend so much time thinking about keywords from your head, right? For AREFs, right, for instance, if we want to use AREFs, um, not AREFs actually, let's say SEMrush. Let's see SEMrush. I think they offer a free part, but you have to use um, keyword magic too. I don't know if they, you have to put in your details first because you have to sign up on, a, on the page. Okay, I think I already have an account here. And they're asking me to upgrade. Right, so this is this is the free version of it. Um, I'm trying to to confirm if you have to put in your card details first before you can be able to use this tool. Because most of them, you have to first put in your card details so that you can be able to use the free version of it, and then they can build you after your first three seven days. Right. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let me confirm from SCM Rush. I'm not sure I have used it before. Okay. Okay, uh, my system is slow, so give me a second. I think the network is really bad today. Let 
Let's go to the bad. So let me use another um um what's it called now? My network is slow. It's not the it's not the SEM raw show. Okay, so I want to confirm from this other Google account. Let me share this screen instead. Okay, so I'm trying to confirm with this other Google account. Why is it so slow? Yeah. Okay, so let me share my screen. So you see what it is. My network condition is unstable. I know. Okay. So who is there that's not with it? What do they do? Do they have a hospital? Okay, so this is SEM Rush, right? And you can see that they said that they will give you a 14-day free pro trial, right? And after a 14 days free pro trial, you are going to now pay to use the other. So if let's say we want to say we we'll try it for free now, so ask us to put card details. I am very certain of that when you're signing up. But let's just see. All right, so you put in an email account and you put in a password and then you create account. Let's see, I want to continue with Google. I don't have this account on SM Rush or the seven at gmail.com. Let's say I'm using this account. Yeah. Like I said, right, they are going to ask you to put in your billing information. Right? And most times it is always with a foreign card, uh, mostly a virtual dollar card or so. Right? And I think your, your card also has to contain some amount of funds. And this is the amount of money that you're going to be charged after you have made the full purchase. You can see here, uh, monthly... But I think there should be another series that you don't have to put in your your card details. This is for your fourteen day free trial in the next series. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Let's try this other link. Yeah, I think it has automatically created an account for me. I did not put in my card details. So. Yeah, you can also create a free SEM Rush account. You can see that this is this this is the SEO, uh, uh, SEM Rush um, tool, and this is what it looks like, 
right? And this is for free. You see, I did not have to pay any money. I just continued with Google and I went back and opened the other link. Right, that's dedicated a profile for me, right? But the thing now is that this is a free, um, of course, this is a free version of the account. So I'll be limited to a few searches for today, right? And after those few searches, I am done for today. Maybe 10 searches or thereabout, right? And um, that's what it looks like. So this is it. You can see uh, competitive research where you can do a competitive research of your target, of your uh, competitor. You can do, if you click on this domain overview now, you'll be required to put in uh, the URL of your competitor, right? The, that's the link of their website and it's going to show you what their website looks like. You see traffic analytics, the same thing is going to show you um, the kind of traffic that they get and how much traffic they get. Although the best tool to use for competitor research is similar web, but similar web you have to pay for it. And similar web does not um, look at or does not um, guarantee uh, or does not give you results of websites that have less than 50,000 followers per month. So that's just the difference, right? But you can do all of that with this. So here's what we are going to do. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break from now till um, 3.34, 3.36. Let's just say from now to 3.40, we'll take a break. And when we are back from the break, uh, we are going to look at um, how you can use this keyword research tool. I have one that is a pro tool, right? I have a pro one, but so I'll, I'll probably be using the, that of the pro to show you guys how you can do your keyword research and then we'll take it up from there. So let's just go on a quick break, if that's okay. Is that okay? Enjoy your break, everyone. All right. Please, how many minutes is our break?
yeah so this is the SEM, this is the SEM rush tool. You can see this is domain overview where you can overview, you can check for a uh, uh, any domain at all, right? You can enter a domain, a subdomain, or the URL. The URL is of course is the link, right? So maybe I want to check for a website. I want to check for a website. I want to check for um any website at all. Um let's say I want to check for um, what's you know, what website am I going to check now? Um blah, 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 blah. Let's say I want to check for udemy.com. Yeah, Udemy. All right, let's see. And you're saying worldwide. Worldwide. You can check. So you can check by, by country. Nigeria might not be there. And if you check for Nigeria, most times you will not really see any valuable information. So I advise you to check for Nigeria. You won't see anything. Nigeria will be here, right? But you might not see much. So let's check worldwide for the overview of Udemy's website. Right. So let's see what we have. It's still loading up. I want to go. I want to go. Okay. So yeah, you can see this is the uh, overview of a domain. You can see the uh, organic search traffic. When we mean organic search traffic, as far people that are searching for them organically, they didn't pay for it. You can see over 10.6 million organic search traffic worldwide. It means, of course, a big platform. You can see that they have over 2.3 million paid search traffic, meaning the paper clip they did, the Google ads that they ran, they have over 2.3 million searches. Massive, it's massive now. As Google Udemy is not, uh, Udemy is of course a very big platform. You can see that they have over 3.7 million backlinks. Backlinks is websites that are referring to Udemy. Over 33.7 million websites, Udemy backlinks, right? If you can see here, you can see what they wrote here referring domains. It means that they have 33.7 million referring links. And they are being referred by over 20.201.1 thousand domains, meaning 201.1 thousand websites, right? And you can see their whole overview. You can see distribution by country, right? You can see worldwide. You can see in India. You can see in US. Their traffic share, as in the how the how the amass their traffic and from which countries that they get the most traffic, right? You can see all of this here. You can see their traffic. Paid traffic, you can see organic keywords, um, search engine result page features, right? You can see images, image, they are ranking more for images, right? Um, you can see featured snippets, site links. You can just go to this, right? It's simple. Now you can see their organic research, right? They are top organic keywords that have been working for them. Udemy is a big platform. Udemy login, meta, meta for examples, Udemy courses, Udemy. You can view more details. If I click on view details, right, I'll see more. Ah, taking me out of here. Yeah. Sorry. Search for them again. <clears throat> so I, I think I stepped out of them for a bit. So this is Udemy. We're trying to search for Udemy, right? And you can see. Excuse me. You can see their distribution by country. You can see the organic keywords still loading up. Organic research, advertising research, backlinks, paid search, backlinks. Keywords. 
right? Branded traffic trend. You can see keyword intents, keyword by intents, what I told you about the different intents for keyword. Um, it's you know, yeah, you know, like, time. Ah, load, load, load. Network is bad to do. So you see that this particular, look at this part of my screen where my mouse is. You can see that this particular part, part is named competitive research, right? Because you now want to look at your competitors and look at what they are doing, right? And you see some of these things. It's, this platform is similar to AREFs, right? Some people will tell you they prefer AREFs, some call it AREFs, some call it RF. Some call it AHREPS. Anyhow, they pronounce it, it's still the same thing, right? Uh, this is SEM Rush. They are a bit similar. Some people prefer uh, AREPS, some people prefer SEM Rush, right? Um, so anyone you can use, you use. Some people feel, see, uh, AREPS is, um, um, is um, what do they call it? Superior to SEM Rush. And I agree, I think it gives you more features than SEM Rush. But um, SEM Rush still does the job for you as well, right? So you can see the top organic searches. You can see total uh, organic search with traffic over ten percent. When we looked at this, right now you see the keyword intent. Do you see the keyword intent that is giving them the most traffic? And you can see that it is informational. People are searching for information, so you can see there is more information that is dragging them more traffic. And then the second is navigational, right? They have gotten over. Um, between 293,000 traffic and uh, 1,000 traffic from informational keywords, and um, they have over 640.2,000 keywords that are informational keywords. They have navigational keywords over 121.3,000, right? And um, you can see commercial keywords, you can see transactional keywords, right? Um, you can view the details. You see branded versus non branded traffic, right? Um, Main organic competitors, you can see their organic competitors, right? You see who their competitors are. Classcentral.com is also another learning platform. You can see Coursera as the second competitor here, right? You see etx.org, alison.com, skillshare.com. All these are also learning platforms at Udemy. You can see competitive positioning map, right? You see advertising, advertising research, top paid keywords, right? You see the keywords that they are using for their advertising, right? Paid position distribution, main paid competitors. You see a lot of things, right? So this this helps you. You can see backlinks, right? You see backlinks. You see where they're getting their backlinks from, right? You see where they're getting their backlinks from. You can see some of their bank clicks. This is some of their backlinks that they have been getting. You can see so many things about your competitors from here, your competitors' website, right? Now that's one. Um, that you can see traffic analytics. If we click on traffic analytics, <clears throat> it's going to analyze traffic for us. I have not finished loading. Yeah. Traffic analytics new up to date feature lets you view daily weekly traffic for current months in the overview traffic journey. Right. So that's the new feature that they added. Well, you can see now, you can see traffic, right? You can see the visits that they have. You can see from a, a, a system, a, a, a PC, you see they have over 56.37% of their visits from a computer or a laptop. And they have about 43.63% from a smartphone or from smart uh, from mobile devices. 
you can see the unique visitors, right, of 3.8 million uh, purchase conversion, right, this one is like a limit that I have to buy let's say I'm not for 200 million, $200 per month to access this data. You can see pages visit, right, you can see average visit duration, you can see this, right, you can see bounce rate, the bounce rate, right, the bounce rate is quite okay, of course, they always bounce rate. They have a, a very big size, so it's possible to see. Uh, audience overview, traffic journey, top page, sub folder, sub major distribution block analysis. This is, I'm not here to show us everything about the platform, right? This is organic research, how to do that, keyword gap, backlink gap, right? You can look at all of this. They want to focus on this keyword research, then you have keyword overview. Now let's open the keyword overview. Yeah, this is the keyword overview, right? You can see that they said that you can enter from one to 100 keywords and separate them by commas, right? So, um, I want to search for keywords now. This one will just give you an overview of the keyword. So let's say, for instance, I want to search for a keyword. Let's say we want to search for a keyword like, um, Let's see restaurants in Nigeria. I don't know what this is going to give me, but let's see. And we change our um, this thing. Here we want which country we want them to give us more results. Let's look for Nigeria. Let's see what Nigeria will give us. It will give us any tangible thing. And your location. You see a location. Like I said, giving us the location of different states and cities in Nigeria, right? We don't want that. We don't want to be limited by that. So we search on this. Uh, we just put one keyword now. And it's going to give you an overview of that keyword, right? And you can see search volume is just 390, right? Keyword difficulty is not available. Search intent is not available. You see? Keyword ideas. So that's still going to give you an overview of the keyword ideas. You can see best restaurants in Lagos, Nigeria, best restaurants in Nigeria, how to start restaurant business in Nigeria, restaurants in Lagos, right? This is going to give you a, an overview of the keywords, right? And you can see a SIOP analysis of the metrics and of the metrics. Let me see if anything is going to come out. That's a search engine results page analysis. Anytime you see SEROP, SEROP means search engine results page right so let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see ah something went wrong i'm able to process my payment <laughs> who is paying okay so you see here that this just gives you an overview of the keyword. So let's change to a country that might give us more results now. All right. Let's see. Let's we have to go back. Let's see. We want to start something like um. Um, let's see grocery stores, right? It's still in Nigeria. So let's see what Nigeria is going to give to us again.
Yeah, you can see the search volumes over from 49.5 thousand in Nigeria. Keyword difficulty is about 60 percent, right? You can see the global search volume. You can see the intent of this keyword is commercial, and you can see trends, right? You can see keyword ideas that can be generated from this particular keyword grocery store. You can see questions that can be generated from this particular keyword. What is a grocery store? Right, and you can see what is grocery store. The grocery store sell gift cards. What is the meaning of grocery store? But these keyword ideas can even inform how you want to um, um, arrange your your content, because content is key. And content marketing now is when you are writing blog posts. You have different blog posts on your on your website, right? And you can these keyword ideas can give you an example of what kind of keywords or what kind of um, stuff you want to use to write your content, right? You see, if you also need some keywords, right? You see all of this, right? And this is the keyword overview. So let's go to keyword magic tool where you can now actually use this tool to actually search for keywords that you want. Are you guys following? Let me confirm. You understand, yes, guys? Yes, yes. Fine. If you do not understand, please let me know. And let me know where so that we can have a direction. Mm -hmm. Now, this is keyword overview, right? And we want to search for something, a word, a business, right? And you see, it has already given me grocery stores as the um, word that we are searching for. Ah, page unresponsive. What's going on today now? Why is everything slow? Let me close some things. So please just be patient. Let it um let's see finish loading. Let's see. The page is still unresponsive. Let's go back. Sorry, guys, this is not as slow, usually as slow as this. I don't know why it's so slow. Um. Let's go back to keyword magic tool, which is where we want to see what you want to see. Keyword magic tool, please. This is so slow. So the keyword we have here is restaurants in Nigeria. All right, let's wait for the keywords to load. If you look here, you're going to see volume. You're going to see KD, percentage. KD means keyword difficulty. What that means is how difficult is this going to be if you use this particular keyword for it to rank? Do you understand? For it to rank well on Google, for it to rank on the first page of Google. 
The next one is keyword intent. Of course, we know navigational, informational, commercial, and transactional. You have this click per click, uh, cost per click. This now is how much are people paying for this keyword for them to rank with this keyword or with that keyword, right? This is include keywords, this is exclude keywords. If you want to include more keywords, right? This is to exclude some kind of keywords that you do not want to see. And these are, of course, advanced filters. And you have here all keywords where you can see all keywords. You have broad match. Broad match means matching relevant keywords that are like this one, right? They have freeze match. Freeze match is matching freezes that align with the keyword that you're searching for. And then they have exact match, which is the exact keyword that you put. The match exact matches for it, right? You can see the keywords that have been generated. This is broad match. You see best restaurants in Lagos, Nigeria. You see best restaurants in Nigeria. You see how to start a restaurant business in Nigeria. You can see different keywords. I just have to, and it's not showing me the keyword difficulty. Why? The metrics are not showing. So I have to refresh all of this to get the metrics. And that's what's going on now. Something is wrong. So as I'm updating the metrics, right, it's supposed to get updated and show up, right? But I don't understand what's going on now. Let me refresh the page. Time. I don't know why it's taking all this time, right? Um, maybe we we'll just have to jump over to the few ones that we can just use it and finish this class. Maybe something is wrong with these people. Well, maybe there are so many users at the time because we can never can tell. Let's try this one by speed. Nigeria, the new network like trusted. Just imagine how it's, it's delaying me from looting. Just imagine how it's looting. Hmm? Imagine I'm a doctor now that is trying to treat the patient. And I'm, I'm, I'm conversing with a specialist abroad. That's how the team will load. So the patient will die on the table. It's bad though. It's very terrible today. Okay, guys. So I think let's just let's let's swap to this other one, right? Let's maybe that one. It's cost called the warrior for it. Let's let's use this one. Let's see. And this one too has also.
Let's use this one, Q or magic tool. All right, let's see. This one is the free, of course, the free one. Let's just use it and see um, what is going to bring up for us now. Yeah, so it's even faster. So now let's say we want to put a keyword. All right, let's say we put, um, let's use, let's still use the same keyword, grocery stores in Nigeria. Or let's just say grocery stores, right? Let's just say grocery stores. Let's see that is the keyword we want to search for. Or no, let's use something more specific, right? Let's say we want to search for um, um, something that we want to use to write maybe a blog post. Maybe you want to write a blog post on um, nutritious foods, right? And we can now see uh, nutritious vegetable meals. Let's see, we want to go more specific now. Which just vegetable meals, right? And let's keep it at US because US is close to us and they also get a lot of searches in a month, right? So let's see what the keywords are going to come out. Give it a seven day, take a seven day trial for free to see more. That means they don't have anything for me to even ask them for seven day trial. So let's click back at, let's now, uh, let's go back to grocery store and let's see what it's going to show us. It's free. It's going to give us some answers first, and then we have to pay to see more. Yeah, exactly. So this is what it looks like when you're doing your search, right? And you can see the different keywords, and you see it's, it's free, so I can't do more than some of the ones that I can do now. You see grocery store near me, right? You see the keyword difficulty is 100%. That means it's going to be very difficult, and you can see the Volume of searches per month, 1.0 million, 368,000, 100% difficulty, right? You see Indian grocery store, you see the keyword difficulty. You see Indian grocery store name, you see the keyword difficulty. Keyword difficulty is green because it's lesser, right? So if we click on keyword difficulty, you will see keyword difficulty shows you how hard it is it will be for organic level. Okay, that's not what I want us to see. Now, this is where I want us to see. You can see the percentage of how the keyword difficulty is being measured. Very hard is between 85 to 100%. Hard is 70 to 84. Difficult is 50 to 69. Possible, like, okay, it's not it's difficult, but it's possible you can rank with this on the um, search result page organically. is 30 to 49%. Easy. Now it's 15 to 29%. And very easy, 0 to 14%. So when you want to do your keyword research, you want to focus on keywords that have high search volume, at least high search volume that is a bit moderate, and a low keyword difficulty. So you want a keyword difficulty that is between um, possible to very easy, right? Between possible to very easy. You don't want something that's going to be difficult because you're trying to rank organically. If you structure your, your content well, it's actually going to rank. And then you want to look for those that have a good search volume, right? Good search volume. Yes, the search volume is okay. And it also um, it has a good search volume and the keyword difficulty is low. So that is what you actually want to focus on, right? For leave the, this is the intent. Yeah, you can also see the intent. You see that this one is transactional. This is commercial. This is transactional, commercial. The intent is not what you really want to focus on when you're doing your keyword research. You want to focus on the keywords per se and how relevant they are going to be on your blog post or your content, the volume, the sad volume that they usually have as, and the keyword difficulty, right? Because this is what is going to inform how you're going to write your, your content, right? Let's go back to that. That's... Something is wrong with these people. Okay, so yeah, this is what we want to focus on, or where you want to actually put more focus on. Like this now, you can see this keyword. It's not our country, right? 
but you can see Indian grocery store near me. That means for anybody who is in India who is writing a, a blog post about a grocery store, right? They use this keyword. You see that they are going to have a lot of traffic, traffic because number one, he has very high search volume over 65,000. And yet, his keyword difficulty is easy at 28. You can see that, right? Even this one, 18. How little is the closest grocery store open, right? You can see this one, grocery stores open near me, right? Um, you see freeze match. Let's look at freeze match. That's broad match. Let's look at what freeze match is going to do for us. Like I said, there's a limit that I can go with this one, right? So you want to be very careful how you manage it. Now look at freeze match, grocery stores. You see grocery stores near me, grocery stores, grocery stores near me, Asian grocery stores. Anything that has grocery store, right? It's a freeze mark because these are just freeze. Now you can see the keyword difficulty as well as the search volume, right? If you're using a premium plan, you can always update it, right? That's um, freeze mark. Now let's put that exact match. Um, this is exact match, right? You can see what exact match looks like as well. Grocery stores open on Christmas. Grocery stores open on Thanksgiving. Cheap grocery stores near me. Discount grocery store near me. You can see the keyword difficulties and you can see the search volumes that they amass. And let's look at all keywords, right? Um, all keywords. Careful. Now you can see all keywords, all keywords relating to this particular store called grocery store and you can see Kroger's, uh, Aldi, Lowe's, Safeway, uh, Lowe's near me. So many keywords, there yeah, are more, right? If you're not one is still. Now let's look at questions, a list of questions based on these keywords because most people are going to be asking questions when they are trying to navigate or get any information on the internet, right? What is this? Where is this? How is this? Why should this, right? So you can see the keyword there, questions, right? Those ones, keywords that are question related. You can see how late is the closest grocery store open? What time does those close? What time does are the closest? These are names of grocery stores. And I can, I can, I can, I can see that those, those are names of grocery stores. You see these questions, right? What time does safely close? What are Whole Foods? What grocery stores are open on Christmas Day, right? So this is what you have, right? And then whenever, whatever keyword you want, you can always add it to a list, right? You can add the keyword to a list. You can create a list. If you create a list, you can do that with this plan. It's free. So you can create a list. But since you can't do that with this plan, if you're using a free plan for a start, you can just look at the keyword and go to a doc and type it and keep it there. So you know the keywords you want to use, right? If it's not a doc, you can use add to a list. And when you add to a list, you save it there. And you can copy it, you can um, copy it as a C, what's that file called? Um, let me see if it's actually my mouth. Um, the one you can copy from, uh, I forgot what it's called now, but you can copy it from there, right? And go and paste it on a a sheet, a Google sheet, right? You save it as a CSC, is it CSC or a CVC file, and then you can copy it and go and paste it on a spreadsheet, and you can use the keywords later on to draft out your blog post or blog content as you want it to be, right? So you have keyword manager here. Uh, this is where you can see your saved keywords. Yeah. Yeah, connect keywords automatically by safety keywords. There are keyword clusters for the initial content marketing plan, right? So you can always create, this way you can create a list and you can be adding keywords to that list that you created, right? And you have a lot of keywords in that list. And then you have position tracking where you can track your positioning and you have organic traffic insights where you can see the organic traffic insights of that particular keyword. Let's open this and let's see. 
right? So of course, this is if you want to easy not provide a keyword solution combining Kubernetes like search console and SEM launch data to search for analytics, to search for insights, traffic, particularly traffic of a domain, right? For a particular, uh, maybe for for this particular keyword, discover not provided keywords, right? So yeah, this is link building. You have backlink analytics. This is for backlinks, right? This is where you can analyze backlinks, backlink audit to see uh, what kind of backlinks are suitable, link building to, to use to build your backlinks, uh, bulk analysis, right? All of these ones, you might just want to keep them for now. You see, you can also use this for social media. I think they've added that, right? Where you can um, see your social media analytics, you can add your social media platforms as well. Then this is content marketing, where you can use to do your content marketing, right? Um, you can do your topic research, which is what we are doing already. You can now search for topics. Maybe you want to search for topics, you can do an SEO content template where you start writing your SEO content. They have the SEO writing assistance that can help you write your SEO content, right? Um, but it's not advisable to use their tool or to use this for your writing because they might not really write what you want. And you need to sound as human as possible so that people you want to read your content, right? So um, you can use this tool for your SEO research, search for keywords that are relevant, keywords that are relevant to what you want, have them, write them down and keep them so you can use them for your keyword research. For your um, for your blog post now you put these keywords in strategic points in your post or in your content i didn't mention that it should be the keyword should be in the title of the post that you're writing right the keyword should be found in the title which is the topic if the topic is, is uh, if the keywords your major your major focus keyword is maybe uh i think i'll show us that other one on monday by right? the time we start using that uh, maybe we we'll, we'll can wordpress on monday those keywords the keyword should be in your title the keyword should be in your um um your subtitles, your subtitles, right? So those subtitles should have your keywords. Some of the keywords, maybe not all the subtitles, but some of the subtitles should have your keywords. And the keyword should also be found in the body of the content, scattered around the body in strategic positions or in positions. Because when Google is crawling, it's crawling your web to search for keywords that people are querying for, people are asking for. It's going to check from the title of your content. It's going to check the the, the, the subtitles. It's going to check that the sub -editing. It's going to check the body of the content if those keywords are found and if those keywords are relevant. So when it checks, such it scrolls and indexes this and sees that, okay, these keywords are there, it can then index it. And the moment someone searches for it on the web, it immediately scans through is Is this thing happens with, with, is with a quick speed? It's just like you going to the library. You don't have any idea of the books in the library and you go to the librarian and you tell the librarian i need this book on this particular topic right and the librarian has been working in that library he knows where every book is positioned he immediately moves into the shelves moves fast and brings it out and gives you the book and you're happy that you found the book that you wanted that's how google works right people put in queries of what they want to find or what they are searching for google immediately goes into his shelf scans for distance with the speed and with speed, it happens with split seconds and it looks for relevant articles, relevant blogs that has relevant keywords that you're searching for from its scrolling and it pushes it to your face and you get those bulk of information and you have them ranking on the first pages of Google. There are companies that are specifically SEO companies that their job is to ensure that you have your SEO um, specifically um, done, well, done for. Uh, we cannot touch everything on SEO. This is just what we need to know as the basics for how you can actually implement SEO strategies on a website, on a content. There are courses that are just there for SEO, strictly SEO courses that you just have to take. And you, you will learn a whole lot and a much deeper on SEO. But I think this is what you need to know. So we don't overload you with information that um, you cannot really ca carry at this time. So let me understand if you have any question at this point from what you have seen so far.
Is there any question so far? Do we understand? So nobody's answering me. Yes, sir. Who is answering? I can hear you, sir. It's not, I'm not asking if you can hear me. I'm asking if you understand. <laughs> I just... <laughs> you know, it okay. seems I'm the okay. only one that... Okay, let me start from there. Can you, are you people hearing me? Are you people been hearing all this thing I've been saying? Or I've been talking to myself? <laughs> Sir, so, since I'm the only one that can speak up, honestly. You're the only one that can speak up. <laughs> no, because I'm the only one that I always say I don't understand. I, I don't understand it, but okay, I'm trying sure. my best. Uh, <laughs> Sheriff, this is yes, you understand. Um, uh, three two says it's a bit technical. Uh, it's not so technical. But it's not so technical, right? But you you will understand soon. Ah, I've got to close it. Damn, 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 damn. Move. Um, who else does not understand? Speak now, speak now. I don't understand. You don't understand? Eh? I don't understand. You don't understand. Which part do you not understand? Everything. Everything. Oh, Barrio. You sure, know, you see that you're not the only one now that, that can that has spoken up. Yes, I have to, you know, ginger my fellow not understanding team. I have to speak up. What? <laughs> What aspect of it do you not understand? Okay, here's what you are going to do. Assignments. Mm -hmm. Here's what you are going huh? to do because, yes, because even if I explain from now to tomorrow, if you don't have an assignment or if you don't go and try it by yourself, you will still not understand. Huh? I am very sure of that. So, here's what you are going to do. Yes, there will be a recap on Monday, but here's what you are going to do now. Right? Yes, there will be assignment too. Uh. So, here's what you are going to do. Right? This is what you are going to do. Bisola, stop begging me. Stop begging me, Bisola. Here's what people are going to do. You Holy are, Ghost, I need your help. You, are, you don't need Holy Ghost. You are going to... Um, I want you guys to do a keyword research for a blog topic. I want you to, first of all, go and read about SEO. Just go and read about it. Then try to um, um, just sign up for free on... SEM rush. I'm not asking you to have me to bring me plenty of keywords, right? But do a, a a slight keyword research on just a few words, right? Um, the way I thought, the way I'm telling you this thing, I know that everybody does not understand the same, but it was exactly the same way, still like this in a class that the last sets were taught, right? And I was surprised at how much the um they also but of course like i said everybody is not the same so i understand so you have to do try it by yourself right go on um sign up on SEM rush right sign up on SEM rush you can use the free version sir. first sign up for the free sorry one. sir s u what rush s e m s e m okay, rush yes sign up on SEM rush right and use the, the, the free part to be able to navigate. Please just go straight to Keyword Magic too, because if you if you click on so many things at a time, um, you might not be able to use it to the best of your advantage, of course, it's, of course, it's limited for a day. So if you do today, you do tomorrow, you do next tomorrow, uh, by Monday, you should have something. I do a keyword research for a blog topic that you want to write. Let's choose a topic that we want to write on.
Choose a topic, choose a topic. Sir, we should choose a topic. Yes, uh, you people want to write on. <laughs> a topic. A blood topic. Um, easy understanding of digital marketing. <laughs> Uh, is that what people want to write on? Okay, so write on the. You're not going to write per se, just the keyword they search and keep pertaining or around this particular keyword. Um, the let's say the block topic you want to write is on the essence of real estate, right? The essence of real estate, or no, let's use a, 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 a equation, let's use that of equation, a, a keyword that requires equation why you should invest in real estate. That's the topic, why you should invest in real estate. That's what you want to write on. Just do you are not you are, I know you will not be able to get so many keywords because you are using a free tool, but just look for a few keywords that you can get that are relevant to that topic. Keywords like what is real estate is one of them. Let me give you expo now. What is real estate is one of those kind of keywords that you can get. Real estate alone is a keyword, but it's going to have a very high um, competition level. Even what is real estate is going to be competitive. But you want to look for all some of those keywords that have um that are real estate um that are attached to real estate that can actually give you a good search volume why you should invest on real estate or why you should invest in real estate in real estate right because some people want to come and ask not like people don't know they know right but let's just use this one as the easy one people know why they should invest in real estate but just write it as a keyword because some people want to have some form of verification on why they should invest in real estate, right? And sign up for the keyword, the keyword, the SEM rush, and see what you can get out of it, right? And see how you can use it to the best of your ability. Don't forget to go and read on SEO. Just do a slight reading on SEO and what it entails, right? And then see what you can get out. Is that okay? Hmm. Now, okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. This is your attendance link. I just have been waiting for. That's what you have been waiting for. <laughs> That's why you didn't understand anything that I was saying because you were just waiting for attendance. <laughs> Do sir, oh do sir, like the fact that I don't I don't miss classes is to show that I really want to learn. I'm trying no. I'm trying. Mm. I'll put in more effort. I know that you are trying. I know. I'll put in more effort. So the um what's it called? Meta business. So... Mm. Yeah, what were you saying about that? Oh, what do you say happened to you? I'm just struggling to even log into that Facebook. Why? I, do I, Facebook can't, I, I can't remember my uh, Facebook password. Ah, is, is that my fault? Mm -hmm. It's not my fault now. Go and do forgot password and see if they will, if they will, if they will send it to your email. Do you still have the phone number or the email that you use in creating the account? Yes, I do. Uh, go and do forgot password now. They should be able to give it to you. you. Should be able to change your password. I mean, definitely they will ask you some security questions just to confirm that you're the owner of the account. But since you're the owner of the account, I'm sure you can answer them confidently. Bisola. 
Ah, what is I learn today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine, sir. What's going on? What is it? Why did you say that there should not be assignments? Let me hear from you. I'm because I'm a good person. We, we, we need to digest what we have learned. We are we need to digest it. Yes, because it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. lot. In fact, that stuff, it's not like it's a lot, but you know, it's quite new, it's quite fresh. So okay. it's something that in fact the recording of this class, we are meant to have it today. So that maybe like tomorrow, Sunday, we watch the game before coming to class again to have like renewed. I don't know what I will refresh. Uh, renewed or refresh new every morning information. No, no, no. Actually, I learned some things, but I feel like um, this class needs to have a part two. Oh, so if you learn today, not part two. No, now I don't worry. Before oh. SEM and SU. Uh -uh. On Monday, we'll just do a little recap on this right monday will still continue with uh, a, a little bit of seo but we'll do something a little more different and you also see how you can implement i think i should have time to do that how you can implement the keywords that you are going to uh, that you have been able to develop and what where that those keywords are going to play a role in your seo right so don't worry just what you the thing is, this information that has been dished out, it seems like a lot, right? It seems like a lot, but it's you get the recordings one. And if I don't give you assignment to try your hands on it, right? It will still seem like a lot. The truth with this thing is that by the time you start, by the time you 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 look at the platform for yourself and you try to see if you can do it by yourself. You find out that most of the things that were said will just start coming back to your memory and you'll be able to just do it. Yes, you exactly. will not get it 100%, but you'll be able to do it and you will see that it's not as difficult as it sounds, right? When I, 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 I'm not really an SUS part, you know, everybody in this digital marketing, some people have the people have their area of specialization, right? And um, some people are mainly SU people very good at SEO, very, very good. I know SEO quite a lot, right? And um, when I was not, uh, when I when I had not even said digital marketing, when I used to hear SEO, it used to sound like something that is very strange. And even my class, the first class I, I was taught about it, it was just like this, looking very easy until I went and I searched by myself to try to do it. I watched YouTube videos to try to do it myself. And I found out that it's not as hard as I thought it was. It's quite simple. But if you say I should not give you assignment, you will not still understand it because you don't have assignment. You don't have what to go and do to try to see if you can even do something and even make a mistake. Make a mistake and let us correct it together. Right? So, um, so you guys have feed the attendance link. I've dropped it though. Is there yes, anything sir. anybody wants? Is there anything, is there anything anybody wants from me again? Please, I've not feel that today, so please. Feel it now. Feel it. It's on the chat box. It's not there again. I just, I just okay. sent that again now. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me send it again. Can you see it now? Okay. Does anybody yeah, want any? Does anybody want any? Three, I think. It's one. Don't worry. It's the same attendance link. I just posted it multiple times. Okay, in case we our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> in case yeah. we are tired. Exactly. <laughs> we see the power. We see the third one. Uh -huh. and beauty dams. Who is beauty dams? You have not said anything today. Beauty dance, I think that's um, Temito where she's in my team. 
She has not said anything today. Every other person, I think I've ever heard every other person's voice. Apart from Beauty Dam. Beauty Dams, are you here? Um, sorry, or... sir. I want to ask a question. Please, go on. Okay. So, for a capstone, yeah, I used to be in a group before. But mm-hmm. I, mean, yeah. I, I guess my group members, they, like, switched to other groups. So, please, who can I meet so that I can switch to another group? The yeah, admin group of your WhatsApp function. group chat. So, will yeah, I see the person on Monday? Yes, Monday is, is Monday a physical class. Yes. Yes, Monday is physical class. Confirm from your confirm from the admin. You see. Yes, she's Monday. supposed to see the admin. Yeah, but she was not in class the, the last week, Monday. If not, so, they would have grouped her just, in a group. Just confirm from the group admin. I'll, I'll also tell her about you. So sure. if she has, if she maybe she can do something about Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, beauty dam say here. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. No, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Here. Good evening. Yes, I'm fine. Did you see my assignment that I dropped on the group? <laughs> you need to give I, me my phone. One day, me and you go enter work through now. I saw it, <laughs> but I've not had the time for it. Okay, I'm on day now. No, Allah. <laughs> Hope you are following today. Right. You understand? I don't understand. I'm not like to you because I've been busy. I'm just trying to. I did okay. screen recording, Sha. Ah, so. okay. uh, yeah. So I'll just go back. I did screen recording. So anyone I don't understand, I will just let you know. So you can put my All right. Okay, yeah. guys. Um, that will be the much we we'll take for today. All you right. Guys, on Monday. Sure. Yeah, Thank you. Sir. Please, Thank away you. I'm having on Monday. Buy us snacks. In yes, voice. So Enjoy we need the knowledge in water. We need Buy cold you. water and snacks. For they are coming on Monday. Me that used to teach, that used to stand and teach. No, and, you can play. Are we not a student? Yeah, no, yeah, and, and give you and, and give out my energy. It's me that will buy you hey. something. And I don't get conscious, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can just buy even if not pure water, buy two or three bags of pure water, buy biscuits. Come Join. On, come on, be going. Come on, be going. <laughs> All right, sir, thank you. Please don't forget our snack right. for Monday. Bye bye. Bye. I did Swap will be out. 
I don't know my group. Oh, this one. I don't finish the class. Everybody get out. I go break. I decrease. I start by two. I go my break 30 minutes. I end the class on time. <laughs> They start to divide myself. I just the hello. Um that you are the only one that is here. Hello. Are you still here? Or you have left, but your phone is still here. 